Hey, what's up guys? I'm Nolan, part-time content creator here for oddsham.com, and today I'm going to be going over why line shopping is of the utmost importance when it comes to positive EV betting. Okay guys, a big question I get asked by email, my DMs on Twitter, is if I have one or two books, can I be a profitable long-term better? My answer is no. As far as I know, it's not possible. If it is, it's extremely unlikely you will be. Positive EV betting is only available because of line uh, sports books, right? Tons and tons of sports books, all independent of one another, all setting their lines independently, right? They all want your money. DraftKings and FanDuel, right? Two different companies in ruthless competition with one another to try to get you to have them be the sports back the sports book that you bet on, right? That's why they all have different lines. Right? They all want the lowest line possible so that you put the money on their book. They make the, the vig, the juice, you know, and they call it a day, right? So this got me thinking, this play right here, Nikola Jokic, over 50 and a half points plus rebounds plus assists, PRA. Right, we can see here why Fliff is an obvious, obvious positive EV play, right? And I'm not talking about the width or... Anything, I'm, I'm just talking purely data from these books, right? Fliff is offering his over uh, 15.5 PRA at minus 120. We have Pinnacle regarded as, you know, one of, if not the sharpest books in the world at minus 160. Minus 160 for everybody. Uh, I place $160 on a bet. If I win, I get $100 in profit back, 260 in total. So that so the higher that that minus number is, the bigger favorite that play is. Just for those who don't know, um, yeah. So Fliff right settling in at minus one twenty. Granted, that can change, but for now, the recording of this video, we have Fliff at minus one twenty, DraftKings at minus one forty, uh, FanDuel at minus one forty six. All different lines, all trying to compete with one another. But why is Fliff? A positive EV play and why if I didn't line shop and I didn't have fliff why would this not be a positive EV play right we're gonna look at this number minus 124.7 let's round up to minus 125 for this example here this is a no vig fair odds right this is a fair odds that odds jam has calculated for this play to be profitable long term if I can beat minus 125 right on this play time and time again i'm going to be a profitable better but what do you know fliff is at minus 120 making this a profitable play right but if you look across the board on this over name me a play that is you know around fliff even around fliff at around minus 120 minus 125 not a single one right the closest we have is Bally Bet at minus 135. If we played this play at Bally Bet, right, let's say we only had Bally Bet as a book, right, going back to having one or two books. Let's say Bally Bet was our only book we had. If we played this play on Bally Bet, maybe not this time, but if we played it over and over and over again, we would lose an extraordinary amount of money because of the fact that we're not beating the fair odds of this bet. That is why line shopping is so important. You have to constantly beat the fairer odds of these bets. If you have 10 books, the likelihood of you beating the fair odds of any of these bets, right, is pretty high. It, it really is high depending on if you have those books, right? But if I have one book, the opportunity is not going to be there. But if I have 10, I have a lot more opportunity to constantly beat those odds, right? So in the end, really, that's why line shopping is so important, right? Having access to multiple books, that's the key to making you a long-term profitable sports better. Not having one or two books, three or four, you're, you know, pushing for opportunity, right? You need a little more. I would say at least five or plus or five or more books to have a chance to be somewhat successful with positive EV betting. Um, 
And in the end, you know, like, like for example, right, this edge we have, minus 120 on Fliff, fair odds are minus 125, not a huge edge, right? Just about almost uh, one and a three quarter percent. But we play this play, we match it with 10 other plays today. We do that day after day after day after day. Those numbers start compounding. We start to see our profits rise. And inevitably, we will be a profitable sports better, right? That's the name of the game. That's the goal. Again, this is a super simplistic video. I understand that. But you'd be surprised the amount of DMs and the emails I get about how, why is line shopping important, right? What's positive EV? What's like, how do I, what are the basics of all this? Let's start with line shopping. That is a basic, basic thing, but needed, you know, in order to be a profitable sports better. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. As always, feel free and don't hesitate to reach out to me at my Twitter, at Nolan Dykes, or by email, nolan at oddsham.com. And guys, be smart, use data, use math, use oddsham. Have a great day, and let's profit.